Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Help for the Guildless. My name, of course, is Antoine. I didn't really have anything to talk about this week, but I did have something that piqued my interest. Uh, well, I can't say it piqued my interest. It's something that's been bothering me for a while. And that is, well, the community we are a part of. Not the community in general, but more of the Facebook communities. You see, I'm part of a bunch uh, of Facebook groups that are dedicated to being anti-SJW or anti-feminist. I've started to understand. Uh, no, it's not that I've started to understand. It's that I realized way later than I should have that these groups are not what they seem. You see, I joined these groups to be part of something, to talk to like-minded individuals, to talk to people who would share my ideas. We could talk about articles, things from the Huffington Post, and make fun of SJWs. Instead, what I got was a bunch of people trying to be internet-famous trolls. They see a post that gets 13 comments as good, so then they up the ante and get more racist or more homophobic or more sexist. And yes, I know I'm using buzzwords, but in this case, that's what they're trying to be. It's not, it's not what an anti-SJW is. And that's the problem. I think these people don't understand that. They don't understand what it means to stand against something. For all intents and purposes, feminists stand for female empowerment. Even third-wave feminists do stand for female empowerment in their own way. And we can't fault them for that. They are standing up to what they believe in. Anti-SJWs, the people in these groups specifically, do not know what it means. So instead, we get people who want, I don't know, to troll their own kind? They see these groups as the politically incorrect boards on 4chan and 8chan. They use them to troll. They use them to be as racist, as horrible as they possibly can. With mind-boggling topics such as, why are black people all ugly? If you could bomb one country off the face of the planet, which African country would it be? Oh, and then I love this one. Why are Jews secretly the evil rulers of the world? Anywhere in those three topics does it say anything about being anti-SJW. Not one. And that's the problem we have. Those people represent us. The community at large. It's what they see. Those people are who Francesca Ramsey and Dylan Merrin and Riley Dennis and Milo Stewart all talk about. Because those are the people that are in their comments telling them to kill themselves, telling them that they're, they're ugly, bring up, bringing up Riley Dennis's Adam's apple again. Those people represent me, and I'm sick and tired of it, because I'm not that person. I'm the person that wants to talk. I'm the person that wants to create a discourse with these SJWs, I want to understand how they think. I may not like it, I may not like their answers, but that doesn't matter, does it? Because in the same instance that I am understanding them, there is an excellent opportunity for them to understand me. But instead of that, I get strawmanned to death in every single conversation because of these jackasses in these groups. Now, it's not just them. 
These groups are usually open, and they usually have the belief of we're not going to ban anyone. So then you get the trolls. Now you do get some SJW trolls in there who try to insult people. Why are, like one of the <laughs> one of the stupidest things I've ever seen was posted today. And it was simply a question saying, why do all white people smell like egg salad? You can't take that seriously. And if I bring up these problems I'm having with these groups, in the groups, I get called a snowflake, an SJW troll. I get called every manner of insult from cuck to faggot. And that's because these Idiots don't understand what it means. And that's annoying. Now, aside from the SJW trolls, you get your normal trolls who post stupid things like, if black people can say the N-word, why can't white people? And here's the inherent problem with that question. No one is asking it seriously. So when I try and do things like this, try and get the attention of, say, Tim Blake or Kevin Logan to do something possibly like an interview or just ask them questions, I'm met with abrasive behavior because they've dealt with the assholes in this group, these groups. Here's what I want to do. I want people to understand what it means to be an anti-SJW, to be an anti-feminist, to stand against what those ideologies mean. To be an anti-SJW does not mean you're a troll. It does not mean you're racist. It does not mean you're a horrible person. What being an anti-SJW means is you stand against the ideology of a social justice warrior. You stand against the ideology of someone like Francesca Ramsey, where she has openly stated that all white people are racist. Standing against the beliefs of Milo Stewart, who wants to claim there are 76 different genders. Standing against... The ideology of Riley Dennis saying that if you don't date a trans person, you're transphobic. Standing against those ideologies does not mean you have to be a horrible person. It does not mean that you get to then spout off at the fucking mouth about how the black community should be wiped from existence. Being anti-SJW does not give you a free pass to be a horrible, racist, bigoted person. And it damn sure does not allow you to represent me. Now, how, how would someone like that represent me, being who I am? Well, because when you come onto this channel and you listen to what I have to say, you automatically assume I'm like one of them. And I've said this for feminists, I've said this for SJWs, and I will say this even for Christians, antis, or whatever else. If the person you are talking to has never met anyone from your ideology, you now represent exactly what that person is going to see every single time your identity comes up. It is your job to make sure that you are putting forward the best front you can. Because if you're not, you're making it bad for everyone else. You are ruining it. Ask anyone that does this on YouTube that is part of the anti-community and they will say they want to be taken seriously. They want to be heard and they want to, 
have conversation. These morons in these groups are causing that not to happen. Am I calling for us to police our own, quote-unquote? No. I'm not talking about thought police. I'm not talking about making people behave a certain way. I'm not even talking about calling them out on their shitty behavior. I am talking about distancing yourself from them. Letting someone know, that's not someone who represents me. Yes, we are getting into the no true Scotsman fallacy. Listen, it's not the no true Scotsman's fallacy. Because it's an active distancing of that type of person. Those type of shitty people are the reason this is going to continue. If we want to find common ground, which we know we can, we have to draw the line. There is a difference between sarcasm and being hyperbolic and just being a jackass. You need to separate yourselves from the jackasses. Because they believe that being as vile, vitriolic, and hateful as they can be is what's going to win this out. Be worse than your opponent, and your opponent will quit. The problem is, is that our opponents are used to doing the worst tactics possible to achieve their goals. We have to take that high ground. We have to let them know that this is not acceptable. And then maybe, just maybe, we can, I don't know, live by example. And that's all I've got. They put out hit piece after hit piece after hit piece. It is our job to look those hit pieces in the face and shout from the rooftops that it is not true. With evidence, with examples, with citations, with everything we need as proof. Otherwise, we have nothing. And that's all I really have to say. Thank you for joining me. I'd love to know what you have to say. Am I going out on a limb here? Or am I in the right? Is there something to this? Let me know in the comments. As always, if you like what I do, like, share, and subscribe. If you want to follow me, all of the relevant links to that are down below. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Help for the Guild List. My name is Antoine, and I hope to hear from you soon. And I wish you all a wonderful evening.